for joining us on what is the second and final day of Q&A at Donald Trump's first in a series of impeachment trials. Captain, uh, Captain Cover-Up, Mitch McConnell, is hoping to have it all wrapped up by tomorrow. <laughs> Mitch McConnell has done everything he can to kill us, but despite the fact that new polling shows that a majority of the country, 53% of Americans, say they are increasingly convinced that Donald Trump did something wrong. The poll was conducted by researchers at Noda University. And... <laughs> but the president's lawyers have argued that not only didn't he do anything wrong, he literally cannot do anything wrong. <laughs> OJ's guy, Alan Dershowitz, said, if the president does something that he thinks will help him get elected in the public interest, that cannot be the kind of quid pro quo that results in impeachment. He's basically saying Trump could just do whatever he wants by saying that his reelection is in our best interest. If, by that logic, he could start eating bald eagles for breakfast and he'd say, <laughs> I have to, I need my strength for the campaign trail. Tomorrow, the Senate will vote on whether or not to allow witnesses at the trial. Trump's lawyers keep threatening that if Democrats call their witnesses, Trump will have the right to call his witnesses, too. Which, right, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's how trials work. That's, a, that's like if the 49ers threaten to send out their special teams. You kick off, I swear to God, we will try to run it back. <laughs> And the other big argument is that if they open it up to witnesses, the trial could go on for months and prevent the Senate from getting business done, as if they've done any business. And <laughs> Blockbuster Video has done more business than the Senate in the last three years. But today, the Democrats neutralized that argument today by asking for one week of limited witness testimony. Of course, all this fuss is over one witness in particular, and that is Trump's now former national security advisor, John Bolton, who says he's willing to testify that the president specifically told him he was holding back hundreds of millions of dollars in aid to Ukraine in exchange for dirt on Hunter Biden. And that is especially problematic for Republicans because their big argument in the House was all this that we're hearing is a bunch of hearsay. The Democrats' case is based on secondhand opinions and hearsay. It was hearsay upon hearsay. Impeachment based on hearsay. It's all based on hearsay. It's all hearsay. 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 Let's hear what he has to say. But now they don't want to hear what he has to say. Democrats need four Republicans to join them on the witness vote. They may be able to get three, maybe four. That's where it's going to get interesting. If they get three, in the event of a tie, if the vote's 50 to 50, John Roberts, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, could cast the tiebreaker, but he doesn't have to. He could also do nothing. He could elect to not vote, in which case the tie would go to Donald. Are you following this, Guillermo? Donald uh, Trump would then get a off. Little if bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Thank you, all right. <laughs> anyway, we've been doing our part to kind of shore up support for one Republican in particular, Senator Mitt Romney of Utah, who has indicated that he will likely vote for witness testimony. And to help push him over the top, I've been bribing the bejesus out of him this week. <laughs> I've been promising two of his favorites, Twinkies and milk. I offered him a whole dairy cow, to mitt or get off the pot, which is what we're asking him to do. <laughs> and tonight, we're going to sweeten that, that pot. Senator Romney, if, come tomorrow, you vote in favor of witnesses, you will receive not just the milk, not just Twinkies, a Valentine's VIP package at the Lauberge Casino Resort in beautiful Lake Charles, Louisiana. <laughs> Spend the night dancing awkwardly in place to the Mormon Madonna herself, Marie Osmond, then Retire to your deluxe suite with two twin beds, a decaf coffee maker, and a portrait of Jeopardy! champion Ken Jennings right there on the ceiling. Party till lights out at 9 p.m. only at the Lauberge Casino Resort. Retail value, $189.99. So that's, there you have it. The ball is in your court, Mitt. It's time to dock her up. Dock her up. Doc. Anyway, eventually, we are going to hear from John Bolton when his book comes out in March, and he goes on TV to promote it. The book's called The Room Where It Happened. It's a Hamilton reference. And not only is he releasing that book, he's also written a book for kids. Yes, that's right. Would you like to see it? Yeah. All right. Well, we spent all day making it, so we might as well. Here it is. <laughs>
It's called a Bu Bushy Bolton's Bombshell by John Bolton. And I'll read it to you if you like. Bushy Bolton wrote a book proving Donald Trump's a crook. The press told Bushy that he made a quid pro quo for foreign aid. Now Bushy wants to take the stand exposing President Tiny Hands. No testimony, that is that, as Mitch McConnell stroked his cat. Rudy G was so upset he strangled Mitch's little pet. DJ TJ was so scared he shot a baby polar bear. Melania got on a horse and rode to get a quick divorce. If Bushy Bolton testifies about the Donald's many lies, say goodbye to the defense and welcome President Mike Pence. That's... <laughs> that's what'll happen, you know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season by my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and illustrated it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. So, um... You know what to do.